Over the last couple of seasons, Tennessee football has been on the rise. They had back-to-back pretty successful seasons, and there hasn't been this much hype for Tennessee football in quite a while. In 2021, Josh Heupel took over this Tennessee football program, and he helped turn them around. In 2020, they went 3-7. and But in Josh Heupel's first year at Tennessee, he helped lead them to a 7-6 and record. And then 2022 was really a breakout season for Tennessee football, and they finished with an 11-2 and record, which was their first 11-win season since 2001. And it was a massive step up from where this team was just two seasons ago. 2022 was a spectacular season for Tennessee football, and they had the highest scoring offense in the whole country. But 2023 was a bit of a step back for Tennessee football after losing one of the most talented quarterbacks in the whole country, Hendon Hooker. And also, they lost their number one receiver, Jalen Hyatt, and a decent amount of talent on the team. Joe Milton was a solid quarterback, but he was just too inconsistent, and he wasn't as good as Hendon Hooker was the previous season. The offense really took a step back, and they were just outside of the top 35 for points per game on offense. When the previous season, they were ranked first in points per game on offense. It felt like the defense did take a bit of a step up in 2023, but the offense took a pretty big step back. But now as we head into the 2024 season, we have to look at what's next for this Tennessee football team. Tennessee ranks 94th in the country for returning production. They lost Joe Milton at quarterback. They lost their number one running back. But if you look at the bright side, you have to look at the offensive talent that they brought in from the transfer portal. And you'd say the offense has a chance to be pretty good next season. And of course, with no quarterback, you have no offense. But that's why in this video, I wanted to talk about the rising star who will be leading this team at the quarterback position. And that guy I'm talking about is Nico Almialava. And I wanted to give a preview for Tennessee football heading into 2024 with Nico at quarterback. Because I think the five-star quarterback can make a huge impact for Tennessee football in 2024. But before we talk about this Tennessee football team, let me remind you guys to like the video. And also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel. Because we upload daily college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Nico Amialava was the number 2 recruit out of the 2023 high school recruiting class. The only player ranked above him was Arch Manning who was one of the most hyped up high school quarterback prospects of all time. Arch Manning, who is related to both the legendary Peyton Manning and Eli Manning, former NFL quarterbacks and some of the greats. And nobody was really touching Arch Manning at the number one spot in this recruiting class. But Nico Amialava's time will come next season. But let's go back and kind of look at the scouting report of Nico. He was getting comparisons to Justin Herbert, former Oregon Ducks quarterback who was really solid in college, but Justin Herbert is also a quarterback That is playing at the next level for the Los Angeles Chargers in the NFL, and he is one of those top quarterbacks in the NFL. Nico is expected to be a top 10 first round pick, and this is what national recruiting analyst Greg Biggins had to say about Nico. Ami Alava just continues to get better, and his upside is as high as anybody in the 2023 class. He has an athletic 6'5 frame, and he's just not a talented quarterback, but a gifted volleyball player as well. And he has made huge strides over the last year in terms of his pocket feel, ability to throw on time, and anticipate. He always had a big arm but can now change speeds, go through progressions and make accurate touch throws down the field look easy. He has exceptional escapability and is just as dangerous outside the pocket as he is throwing in it. He is always a threat to take off and run for big yards when flushed or on design running plays. He's a tough kid as well who will stand in and take a shot and when he's running in the open field he looks more like a big receiver than a signal caller. He's a natural leader with a high compete level and a great off the field work ethic. There are zero character concerns with him and he's a future captain who other players gravitate towards. There is not a throw on the field he can't make. He's comfortable throwing off platform or being creative when he needs to be. And combined with his rapidly improving football IQ and toughness, he has a chance to be a very special player at the next level and beyond. This scouting report was made on February 28th, 2022. And this scouting report just shows how much potential this kid has. But let's kind of catch back up to time. In 2023, he played backup quarterback to Joe Milton. In the little time he played this season, Nico passed for 314 yards and a completion percentage of 62.2. Part of the time he played was against one of the best defenses in the country when Tennessee played Iowa in the Citrus Bowl. In that game, Nico had his time to shine, and we saw a preview for the 2024 season. Nico threw for 151 yards and one touchdown with a completion percentage of 63.2. And he also ran the ball 15 times for 27 yards and three rushing touchdowns as a quarterback. And he really showed his capabilities to be tough against a shutdown defense. And he definitely didn't win this game by himself, but he helped lead this team to a 35-0 shutout win against Iowa in the Citrus Bowl 
which was very impressive to me. Tennessee is going to look for consistency in Nico, something that they didn't exactly get with Joe Milton. But don't get me wrong, Joe Milton was solid, but he's no hindered hooker, and he might not be anything like Nico either. And Nico could really be the next big thing for Tennessee football. And do not be surprised to see Nico bring home the Heisman Trophy in a couple of years. Or you never know, maybe even as soon as next year, because it's college football and crazy stuff happens. I'm definitely excited to watch Nico play next season. He's a very versatile player, and I think he could be even better than Hendon Hooker was. And I think he's going to have a decent offense and a good head coach to back him up. He will have new tight end holding stays to throw to, and he should be one of the top targets on that team. But in my opinion, the guy that will make a big impact at receiver is Tulane's leading receiver, Chris Braswell. And he's definitely a guy that will see the field quite a bit. Tennessee lost a decent amount of talent on offense, but they will also be returning their number one receiver, Squirrel White. The offensive line should be solid as well. I know the offensive line has been a problem, but I do expect them to take a step up. Definitely with the addition of offensive tackle Lance Hurd, who is the highest rated transfer pickup for Tennessee. The rushing attack for Tennessee was pretty solid last season, but next season we will see the backup running back, Dylan Sampson, step up. And he's a guy that I think will be one of the most impactful players on this team. He ran for 600 yards and 7 touchdowns last season as a backup, and he ran for 133 yards in the bowl game against Iowa. And Dylan Sampson could be a beast next season. Even with the offense ranking 107th in offensive talent leaving, I think Tennessee still has a chance to have a top 20 or top 15 offense in the country. And on the defensive side, they are returning 58% of production, which ranks 66 in the country. And if we see a world where the offense and the defense are both clicking on all cylinders, then in that case, I think Tennessee can be a very dangerous team. We saw what this offense was capable of in 2022 with Hendon Hooker. But the defense held them back from winning an SEC championship. Tennessee needs to play football on both sides of the ball. And I think you could consider them a legit 12-team playoff contender and maybe a dark horse to win the SEC. We'll see how the secondary holds up on defense in 2024 with new additions, Dramon McCoy, Jalen McMurray, and Jacoby Thomas. All three of those guys I expect to fill a huge role on this team. Jamad McCoy is a guy that had seven pass deflections and two interceptions last season for Oregon State. And I expect him to be one of those top cornerbacks on this Tennessee defense. Tennessee has some new additions to the team next season, so we'll see how they do. But I think this is definitely still a top 20 caliber team. And maybe even a team that is good enough to make the playoffs. Nico Amialava is a quarterback with a lot of potential. And he's going to help lead this team going forward. But I think the offense is in good hands with them. And maybe next season is the year we will see the offense and defense both really make an impact in 2024. I think Josh Heupel is doing amazing work at Tennessee. Tennessee hasn't really had many great seasons in the SEC, but he has created light within this Tennessee program. He has done a consistently good job at recruiting. He's had three top 20 classes and a top 10 recruiting class already. And he's already going at it in the 2025 recruiting cycle with the 10th best class as of the making of this video. And who knows what will happen down the line. Maybe he gets his first top 5 class, but 2025 is still a long ways away, and there's going to be a lot of changes within recruiting, so we'll see what Tennessee can do. I'm also excited to see what Josh Heupel does during the spring transfer portal window, because there's a lot of more solid transfers that he can bring in. I definitely think the future of Tennessee football is looking really good with Josh Heupel and Nico at quarterback. I don't know if they will win an SEC title because of how stacked the SEC will be, but maybe down the line Tennessee brings home an SEC title. But I do think they will be a consistent 12-team playoff contender with Josh Heupel. And the best seasons of Tennessee football in a very long time might be coming these next couple of seasons with Nico Amialava at quarterback. Because I think Nico could definitely be a generational type of talent. So I'm excited to see what he does in 2024. And I'm also excited to preview Tennessee football schedule sometime this offseason. So if you are new to the channel, then definitely consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see more awesome videos like this, we upload daily college football content, and we are doing tons of schedule previews this offseason, and we are giving a bunch of predictions for the 2024 season. So if you guys love college football, then this is definitely in the right channel for you. So definitely consider dropping a sub. But that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and peace out.